start off the new year, there are here the pitter patter of tiny feet. That's right, Elton John and David Furnish have just had a baby. What? <sighs> Thank God they adopted him. Phew. I just had some hideous fucking images in my mind there. Now, I have no problem with gay adoption. I mean, some of my best friends have been gay for six months. Three with good behaviour. However, what I do have a problem with is bringing up a child in its own purpose-built £1.3 million pound flat with the help of its own staff. If that's not shaping up to be the backstory of a super villain, I don't know what is. I already have access to outrageous costumes and terrifying wigs as soon as it harnesses the awesome power of magnets. We're all screwed! Oh well, still be more entertaining than my two dads, I suppose. Speaking of child catching, Michael Jackson continues to make the news despite being a translucent cadaver. The Discovery Channel has recently cancelled plans to air a reenactment of the body popping maniac's autopsy amid accusations of bad taste. I don't really think they've missed the opportunity to create a TV spectacular which would rival his gaudy showbiz funeral. They could have set the removal of various bits of anatomy to his catalogue of hits. And as we take out the lanks, please enjoy the pop funk stylings of Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Now as the kidneys are extracted, we can appropriately hear his 1988 hit, Another Part Of Me. And here to sing with a child's heart, please welcome Stevie Wonder! And look what we just pulled out! Here's Stevie, catch! Heads, Stevie! Heads! And Swatch of the Week. <clears throat> As 84-year-old Hugh Hefner's 24-year-old fiancée, Crystal Harris, who has stated that she is more interested in her pop career than having children with her octogenarian murky book magnet. Now, I probably don't have to point out that she's made the right choice in her husband if she's not too keen on getting up the duff. Hopefully she can think up some catchy romantic likes while she's getting pumped full of dust. Look at the soulessness in her eyes. <laughs> Gets me every time. And in an effort to include some more positivity in the views, Annie Lennox has just been rightfully awarded a CBE in the new honours list for her wealth of charitable work. So I say congratulations. But why not just bestow a knighthood? Because we need more harder knights in this country. Let's be honest, I wouldn't fight them. And to end the review on a rather sombre note, cinematic legend Pete Postlethwaite has sadly passed away at the age of 64. Proving that God's judgement is unjust, given that he was in the mood for taking a celebrity named Peter and Mr Andre still walks the earth. To celebrate the Inception star's life, here he is swearing at Philip Schofield. They're heated by newspapers that are thrown away on the subway in you know, London and today. The, uh, the projectors run by pigeon shit and stuff like that. <laughs> sorry about Where, that, by the way. Sorry, I <laughs> pigeon poo. <laughs> pigeon shit. Oh, fucking word, I'm fucking word.